And you look at this. There he goes, and the wind's blowing him away. Uh, his family has given up on him, and he's going pretty fast in the wind. See you, mate. He looks like he doesn't give two craps either at the moment still. Going for American citizenship. Yep. Right, the bigger winds gusts are just to his left about there. Once he hits there, he's going to disappear pretty quickly. Well, look at the boat coming in nice. Yeah. That's how choppy it is out there. That's a boat out there trying to get in. There's a fish that jumped. It was a little amusing at the very beginning when I first filmed the first little bit, but a couple of minutes later we realised this is going to be a pretty serious incident. That wind's really got him. I know, there is someone standing here staring at So this guy started just here, then he went out to about there, then he, the wind started blowing him, but he didn't panic, and uh, he was there for a while, but then all of a sudden the wind's picked up, and now he's way over there. And every now and then you see the winds hit the water, that ripple it makes, like it's just doing right now. And it just keeps pushing him further and further out. So now he's in more choppier water out there. So, keep an eye on him, but eventually I think he's going to need fire rescue to come and get him. Because there isn't many people out in the water right now. Alright, looks like the guy's family are now starting to get a bit concerned. Which, uh... This lady here, and these people here, they're trying to get him to come back. It was just after I filmed this part right here that I actually decided to call the uh, the 911. He had gone past the shallow bit, and I knew by being out there on the water myself, uh, the water gets pretty deep. It goes from like 5 feet, 6 feet, suddenly to like 10 feet. So if he had fallen off earlier on, he would have walked back, but once he was close to that pier and further out, I knew it was like 12 feet in that area. So he, he would have been in a lot of difficulties. So I put the call through to 911, and it unfolded from there. All right, so uh, we're just waiting for the Niagara Regional Police boat, which is probably at Port Coburn with the uh, other uh, canal days, but also we're frankly trying to get the uh, Ford Erie boat out, but somehow he's going to get here first. I know it's going to take this long, I'm going home and got the jet ski. Uh, and it took me 10 minutes to get there and back, so uh, anyway, he's still out there floating around and hopefully uh, we'll get him soon, but we put the call in 15 minutes ago to, uh, we spoke with RCMP and they dispatched these guys, so hopefully it'll be a good outcome. He's still on the uh, floaty. I can show you. Right, I think I can hear the uh, Ford Erie fire truck. I can hear something coming anyway. Shit, the guy's f capsized. Fire's here, they got my binoculars looking for him, but uh. Yeah, he's just capsized. Hopefully he's holding on to it. He's in deep water there. I'm telling you right now, when you're out here, don't take the water for granted, especially when it's windy. Me and Rick called this as soon as we saw him. All right, looks like this guy might go and try and get him. I hope so. I just want to stop it there very quickly. I did hear a handful of people that did say that uh, another boater was approached who just brought, brought oh, his boat ended. in and asked me would he go and assist for that person and he went no forget it and drove off so uh as a boater as long as you're not putting your own life at risk it's what you're meant to do so uh, my binoculars are now with these guys i nearly put a drone up actually uh rick's also trying to help out uh, i'm the guy that called it in i spoke to the uh, rcmp we noticed he was in trouble so hopefully we'll get him quickly there is a fishing boat going out to him now Got him. Look at that fishing boat's got there. That's good. All right, they got him safe and sound. He's on his way back. They've got him. They've got him. They've got him, okay? They got him. Okay, no problem, all right? All right, as you can tell by my t-shirt, the wind's pretty strong here. And it's, uh, <laughs> it, that's why the floaty blew away so quickly. Uh, me and Rick were just down here watching just the cloud line because there's rain coming in a few storms later on tonight. And we just noticed the uh, inflatable just getting blown away very, very quickly. So 
I made the call, oh, well, I'm going to call the uh, Coast Guard and put me through to RCMP, who then put me in touch with our Niagara Regional Police and so on, and got them dispatched. But uh, they're just coming in now. This fishing boat out here has the guy on board. He's coming in, and thankfully he's safe. And uh, the fire boat is actually down there as well now. They've gone, they've gone and picked up the, the inflatable or gone to do something with it anyway. So they're just bringing that in. But but he's coming to shore right now. All right, as you can tell, you can probably hear the wind. Uh, the white caps on the water, so it's uh, it's a little choppy out here. I was out here until about 4:30 today, and it was nothing like this when I left. And it's now uh, 10 past 8, so this got really bad about two hours ago. Okay. Hey, if you want some help, you speak to me nicely. Then fuck off and set your priorities, fucker. I know, we got a rescue! This guy was a jerk earlier! Safely ashore, they got him. All's good. Glad it ended happy. That's one uh, hell of a lucky guy out there. So, uh, warning to everyone when you're out there, change in a second, Lake Erie. Take you away before you know it. Hey, the family just came over and gave us all a hug, which was nice. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to blur a lot of it out when I make this video, but I'm going to use it as an information tool, training tool. I'm not going to highlight who these people were. They don't need it. It was uh, just track. It's just. It was just one of those things. The weather got the better of them. He got exhausted, and luckily we were there to see it and help them out, and so was the fisherman. So uh, all ended well, and uh, he's safe. And thankfully, we carry on the summer down here. We've had a casualty, which is really, really nice. And that's the floaty, which they brought back, so the floaty got rescued as well. So uh, all's well, ends well. What a great day.